<laughs> Back then, it was the biggest story you can put on the air. Everybody was complaining. Yeah. Never thought it would end, but it did. Were you, it down. were you a cameraman at that time, too? Yeah. yeah. How many years ago? 25 years ago? Yeah. Residents and workers at the former NL Industries plant in Colony, New York, were extremely upset to learn that sophisticated tests showed depleted uranium contamination had persisted in their bodies from exposure as long as 20 years or more ago. So if I could just get started, I'll just refer you briefly to the uh, location of the study that we've done. That's on the, at the former National Lead site on Central Avenue. Many of you are entirely familiar with this location, so I won't uh, belabor that. Uranium, mainly depleted uranium, but also a small uh, quantity of enriched uranium was processed at the NL National Lead plant from 1958 to uh, its closure in 1983. And this, the, the primary purpose of, of the work was to fabricate munitions for military purposes. Um, a very significant aerosol contamination plume was emitted from the plant, and it contaminated the surrounding area. Uh, the effects of this can be easily found, even today, in houses and soils throughout the region. Um, we partly contributed to the database that shows that that is the case. There have been a number of reviews of health of people who lived in the vicinity of this plant. The most recent being the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, which is part of the CDC in Atlanta, at what they call a health consultation. That was conducted in 2004. All of these previous health assessments recognize that there was indeed a health hazard uh, from the plant's uranium aerosol emissions. The extent of workers and residents' um, internal contamination and the extent to which <coughs> those same people continue to remain contaminated was simply not previously known prior to our study. As you know, the site has now, this, just this year, recently been completely uh, remediated at a cost to the taxpayer of approximately $190 million. The last aerosol emissions from the plant ceased about 24 years ago. It also is known that exposures to high levels of inhaled uranium or uranium oxide is a particular health hazard, especially since aerosol DU is relatively insoluble and can reside in the lungs, lungs and in the body for many, many years. Okay, the, the results of the study are that um, every single worker that we tested, people that actually worked in the plant for a number of years, all of them continue to excrete very high levels of depleted uranium um, in their urine. We did, in fact, find evidence of enriched uranium in one of these individuals, and that indicates that uh, they must have acquired that in the early years of working at the plant. We also found residual lower levels of depleted uranium in the urine of about 15% of all the residents that we tested. These are people that inadvertently had an inhalation exposure from the simple fact that they lived nearby. We cannot rule out DU exposure in all the other people that we tested. It's simply a matter that the sensitivity of our method after all of these years has its limits. We could address that with further tests. Oh, I am Thomas Donnelly. I'm one of the individuals that tested positive for depleted uranium. I worked next door to NL Industries for 34 years. At times, I would go into the plant as part of my job. In the morning when I arrived at work, the chimney at NL would be emitting black smoke into the atmosphere. I had no idea the plant was using uranium or that it would be harmful to myself or others. The site where I worked has been found to have DU dust particles exceeding by many times that which is allowed according to cleanup levels. I will have DU in my body for the rest of my life. The DU is the cause of my autoimmune disorders that I have. The effect on my life has been devastating, and I do not know what will happen next. 
the results of the study show that we were exposed. And now a health study needs to be done. I hope that the polluted dust and the area will be cleaned up by the Army Corps of Engineers to complete the cleanup process, which they have already started. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike DeBello. I'm the worker that was tested positive for enriched uranium. Okay? I worked in NL for 22 years, 1958 to 1980. When it started, the place was spotless because I know I started as a janitor and worked my way up the manual. But over the years, it got dirtier and dirtier to the point where they cared about nothing but making money. They didn't give a damn about the employees if it was safe or clean. At the same time, I blame the government of the state of New York for not watching NL. NL used enriched uranium, depleted uranium to manufacture penetrators, aircraft counterweights, shielding for nuclear reactors. We also processed some fuel elements for reactors. Why well, my co-workers died young, whether a plant was the reason, I'll never know. Thank you for your time. Hello, I'm Joseph Lito, tested positive for depleted uranium. I lived next door to NL Industries for 40 years. When I was a kid, I rode my bike on the tracks near NL every day, and I played in the stream next to my house. Very recently, we discovered NL dumped the radioactive waste in it. I had no idea the plant was using uranium. It polluted the air I breathed and could be harmful to myself and my family. The urine tests found that I have a toxic and radioactive chemical in my body now. I am scared about what this could do to my health. A health study of the community needs to be done now. My home was found to have polluted dust in the attic and basement above cleanup standards. The Army Corps uh, left town about a few months ago, but they need to come back and clean up the polluted dust. So I'm Tommy Fairfellow. I was found to have the polluted uranium in me. I lived next to NL for 25 years. I remember playing baseball in the field in back of it. There was no fence on the property. I even played in the stream that ran through their property. Now I have strange lumps on my chest. I also have had a brain aneurysm. I have a serious heart condition. And I'm constantly fatigued. And I get deep pains inside my leg bones constantly. I'm wondering if NL caused these problems. I'm very upset that uranium was found in me. And I think a health study for the community and workers should be done now. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. The reaction will be on the left. Don't pull into a parking lot. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about all this, Tommy? I'm disgusted. Huh? I'm disgusted about yeah. it. Yeah. As you look over here now, what are you... Just... In fact, there's a lot of memories. Yeah. And how... Growing up as a child. And... Where did you live when you grew up? Right over the back there. This is the National Lead, former NL property. It's 11 acres. It was a building right in front here up until about 12 years ago. The federal government very carefully cleaned the inside of that building and then they, um, then they demolished it. Before they cleaned it, they cleaned the topsoils from 50 neighboring properties and put them inside of the building for several years. And then they, there's a railroad track along the back side and this is the main railroad track from Boston to Chicago right here, the main Amtrak line. It's also a, a freight line. So there's a siding and they could load the railroad cars right up, right on the property, which was very convenient for disposal out west. Right here, right up against the back fence, was the deepest pockets of radioactive materials and lead. It was like 25 feet deep. Uh -huh. They had to put bracing up along the railroad tracks when they dug down because they were afraid the railroad tracks would collapse otherwise. Yardborough Avenue is back there. That's in the city of Albany. We're in the town of Colony right here. That area there, those houses, got quite a bit of fallout from National Lead. And 
these houses up along here on Central Avenue. There's, there's about four houses, then there's a bowling alley. Those, that area right through there got pretty high fallout from National Lead. I have this white house here, and I do, I have a cancer. One down by the garage here, and I have a cancer. So this area right here got very high fallout. This was the very last part of the cleanup that the federal government did. They, they tested this place here and determined that there were some pockets of radioactive materials in it and they cleaned it I think in April and May this year. This was the last part of the cleanup. This is where you used to play Tony, right? Yep. Yeah, all over. Yeah. All Say that again? I used to play in this whole area. And you played down in the creek? Oh, I was in the creek there. You're interested to try and catch turtles and everything. So this is the railroad line that goes from Boston to Chicago. That's the siding that was used for um, loading up the cars, the railroad cars. They had a pad right here for several years where they, the dirt that they were cleaning up they put onto the pad and then from the pad they loaded it with a small crane into the railroad cars. They cleaned the site from west to east this way over there in that low spot over there is where the pond was. If you look at topo maps, maps of this area, each decade the pond got smaller and smaller, but even by like the 1960s there was still a pond there. And the National had filled that pond in with waste. Even though it wasn't on their property, they cut a hole, they put a hole in the fence or a gate in the fence and used to just bring it there. They buried waste all over this property. The federal government, people who cleaned it up, said that every time they dug up a piece of pavement or a slab, there was lead or uranium buried underneath it. But any time they had to build something, they just buried waste underneath it for fill. And this is where you did a lot of playing. Yep. And I remember the bigger pond up there too. Up more towards the bowling alley up there. the last 24 odd years, the federal government, either the Department of Energy or the Army Corps of Engineer, at the taxpayer's expense, have spent over $190 million cleaning up the NL factory site and over 50 residential properties. Myself and others are still members of Community Concern about NL Industries and we're still pursuing, now that we got the cleanup of the site, now we're pursuing other activities in terms of getting the household dust that we've discovered recently is contaminated, getting that cleaned up, and still pushing for a health study and still pushing for justice. Our goal is not only a health study, but to have victim's compensation lawsuit or a medical monitoring fund lawsuit on behalf of the injured citizens and workers against NL Industries, and cost recovery that NL should pay for the cleanup and reimburse the federal government.